I was attracted to EGS for two reasons. The Alps, which I've never seen and which I am moved by beyond comprehension. And the idea of working with a group of graduate students hungry for thinking about philosophy, literature, social theory in relationship to the world and a group of graduate students who were not bound by disciplinary norms, who understood that working across disciplines is often very difficult, but ultimately worth it. And when I got here, I found that that is exactly what sat in the seminar room with me. What I wasn't prepared for was the culture among the graduate students. I found that the conversations we were able to have in seminar, the work we were able to do on texts, uh, the interactions we had outside the seminar room had a quality of warmth and mutual support and interest and engagement, but also just a quality of formal respect that is increasingly rare in the academy. It's something that I've always cherished when I find it in, in academic life, but uh, so many forces are conspiring to drown it uh, or extinguish it. So for me, the, the gratification of the mountains was there. The qualities of the interdisciplinary, curious, hungry graduate student was there, expected and hoped for that. The surprise was the culture. What we did this week was work on Karl Marx from a perspective that's a little bit different from the usual. And that involved thinking about the way that Marx's own formation through critical engagement with religion shaped a lot of Marx's later thinking and shaped a lot of his thinking about topics that one wouldn't think of as problematics of religion state, political economy, capital, the experience of living in capitalism. So we traveled into Marx, uh, who's familiar to some, less familiar to others, on an unfamiliar road. And uh, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but what I found was that the students were utterly open to it and I learned a lot and it seems to me a number of the students did as well.